In this video, you will hear from Precinct Chairman 551 David Hodgins and Volunteer Organizer and Street Captain Donna Cox explain why they and many other delegates are coalescing behind Charlotte Lampy or SRECSD7 Committee Woman. Hello, SD7. I'm David Hodgins. I'm the Republican Precinct Chairman for 551. I come to you today to encourage you to vote for Charlotte Lampy for SREC committee woman, SD7. I've known Charlotte for over 25 years. I've watched her hard work and dedication to elect Republican candidates and to support our Republican principles and values. I've witnessed her leadership, her organizational skills, and her passion. And now I would tell you, Charlotte and I have not always agreed. We've had our political differences over the years. But we agree on this. We agree that we are in the biggest political fight ever to keep Texas red. And with respect to the SREC, we're gonna need a leader who's action oriented, who's fearless, who has leadership and experience skills. And that leader is Charlotte Lampy. So I encourage you, SD7, to vote for Charlotte Lampy, SREC committee woman, I'm Donna Cox. I'm a precinct organizer for Precinct 0551, but I didn't start out that way. I want to back up and talk about how I met Charlotte. Um, I met Charlotte at Commissioner's Court when there was a hearing about when they wanted to increase property taxes. Uh, that was on the agenda. Um, what I noticed about Charlotte is she's very gregarious and very passionate. And uh, I made a note to follow up with her because I found out later that she was Harris County uh, she trained precinct chairman, basically, in Harris County. And I knew I wanted to help in my precinct, and so I made a note to call her uh, and talk to her about how I could help in my precinct. Um, when I did touch base with her, I found her to be incredibly receptive um, immediately, even though she barely knew me. And I found her to be incredibly helpful, and she took a lot of time with me, gave me ideas, encouraged me, and basically equipped me to do what I'm doing now, which is, after talking to her, I did contact my precinct chairman, David Hodges, and now uh, I'm working as precinct organizer with a great team that he put together, and we are implementing a lot of Charlotte Sparks, which is what I call them, um, to strengthen our precinct, and what we're doing is basically everything you would think of about grassroots. What we're doing is we're reaching out to high school students and college students, first time voters. We're reaching out to new neighbors who need to be registered to vote and informed about their local uh, politicians. And um, we are developing a structure of street captains to go out and meet those new neighbors. And um, all of these things are coming together. And one of the things that we recently did was reach out to high school graduates, who the recent 2020 graduates that um, went through not really being able to participate in the graduation. And we celebrated them with a packet and a gift and also um, prize drawings. And one of the drawings was a Dan Crenshaw's book, Fortitude. And they had a choice. And one high school student chose Dan Crenshaw's book over uh, a gift card for a fast food restaurant. And I thought that was really interesting. I followed up with her and gave her a flyer of our local politicians that had their faces and names on it and encouraged her to vote all the way down the ballot. So I'm telling you all this because this is the epitome of grassroots. It's one-on-one -on -one reaching out to high school students. And that's what our street captains are doing. One-on-one -on -one reaching out to our new neighbors and you know encouraging them to get registered to vote, encouraging them to vote all the way down the ballot because this November there's no straight ticket vote. And that kind of information is not gonna come out last minute. It's gonna to have to be something that's layered and one-on-one -on -one, like we're doing with our street captains. So all of this is a, is a Charlotte spark. And um, it's, it's she is the epitome of grassroots. She's helpful, um, she's attentive, she's equipping, she's resourceful, she's creative, and um, willing to spend the time. And that's something that's incredibly important. She's willing to spend the time to do the hard work to encourage and equip uh, the grassroots workers like myself. So I encourage you to vote for Charlotte Lamb for SREC SD7.